Yo! What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Maple Hut. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Parallels Desktop 13 on your Mac or Windows computer. Um, I'm doing it on the Mac, but the same steps can be taken on a Windows computer to get the same results or similar results. So uh, here are my specs really quick, just so you can see. I'm on Mac OS Sierra 10.12.6 with 16 gigs of memory. That's what we're running with. So uh, what you want to do first, go to the Parallels, Parallels website, it'll be in the description below. Or you can type in Parallels.com, go to products slash desktop, and it'll be, bring you here. So go ahead and just download the free trial. So I'm only, only getting the free trial, uh, you can buy this if you would like. Um, honestly, I would recommend if you, you I would recommend you to buy it. It's very nice. Uh, I'm not getting sponsored for this or anything like that, but this is a good program. So I would recommend it to you to buy if you'd want, but the free trial works just as well. So we're going to be getting the free trial today. Go ahead and let that load up. All right. Go ahead and hit download. Once again, Parallels, uh, well not once again, but to let you know what Parallels does, uh, Parallels allows you to run Windows 10 uh, operating system on your Mac uh, without having to swap out of the OS system itself. So you can also use Bootcamp um, in VirtualBox, but with Bootcamp you, um, you either need a newer computer to be able to do without a USB or without a disk. And in my case, my computer is an older version, so um, yeah, Parallels and VirtualBox is best in my case. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and let that download. Okay, looks like we're done. I actually already have one here on my desktop. I didn't really need to download it, but I guess I already did, so it's all good. <laughs> go ahead and open that up when you're ready. Or when it's ready. Okay, there we go. Getting some progress. Alright, here we go. So now this has opened up your package and you want to go ahead and double click your package and open it up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep this video live. I don't think I'll make any cuts. Hopefully everything will be pretty quick. Alright, go ahead and enter your password, whatever that is. <clears throat> It installs fairly quick and downloads fairly quick, so you know this process isn't too bad. Not bad at all. Later on, depending on um, what questions you guys have or uh, what you guys would like to see from me, I will be doing more videos on parallel parallels and VirtualBox, um, like detailed videos, how to use how to use them, how to allocate more RAM. Uh, or more storage to the virtual machine. I'll be doing videos on all of those. All right, so now that we're done, let's go ahead and open up. Oh, it looks like it's opening up itself. So when it finishes, you'll either have to go to your finder and open up your um, applications folder and then run parallels. But it looks like it just auto ran. So we're here. And once it comes up, oh well, okay, so I've already installed this uh, recently, so it looks like it just continued uh, its version, or yeah, the virtual machine continued the session from last time. So um, once you install it, there will be a screen that pops up here that you will need to install Windows 10. Um, it may ask you some questions uh, regarding you know, personalization and all of that. When I did the video to install the VirtualBox, I don't believe it takes as long as VirtualBox to actually get Windows 10 installed and running in Parallels. So yeah, I mean, that's really it. You just follow the steps, install Windows 10, and there you have it. So if this video was helpful to you at all in any way, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you, know, so you guys know when we drop a video. And uh, hit that like button for us uh, when you like us, YouTube likes us, and we like that. <laughs> Have a great night. Thanks.